Good evening, everybody, and welcome to a very special episode of The Review Board. Now, normally I would try my best to entertain you with a movie or a video game review, but this time around I'm going to be taking a much more serious subject. Cosplay bigotry. Now, prejudice has been around for as long as any of us can remember. Hell, most of us were taught in school how bad it was and the repercussions that it would cause if it gets out of hand. But this morning it was brought to my attention that apparently a faction of Asian extremists have been growing in number thinking that they are going to become the Gestapo of the cosplaying world, claiming that anyone who isn't of Asian descent cosplaying someone from an anime is out-and-out -out racism. This group is called the Anti-Western Cosplay Group. So I looked through the website and I saw I couldn't find the what I saw I couldn't find the words for. So I decided to message this guy and try and get an idea of where his head is at. Needless to say, he didn't really have anything nice to say about me and virtually labeled me the poster boy of cosplay racism towards Asians. And that me continuing to do so would destroy anime for thousands of people with my filthy, filthy western ideals. So more or less, this guy is making himself to be some cracked up form of an Asian Hitler, claiming that westerners and their atomic bombs, yes, he said this, are the reason Asians haven't progressed as much as they should. Well, okay, but what does that have to do with me dressing as Master Chief, or a character from an anime that I like? How am I setting back Asian culture, years of technological growth, by dressing up as someone? Sorry, pal, but your argument doesn't hold water in my eyes. But, if that's the game you want to play, why not? I'll take a spin at it and see how well you like it. So an Asian who cosplays someone of Asian descent is racist. Anyone who's not Asian. So does that mean if somebody of Asian descent dresses up like Superman, or Captain America, or dresses like a rapper, or bastardizes one of our heroes that has been around since before you were probably born, rewrite his entire story and give him a 50-foot robot like you did with Spider-Man, or hell, even play baseball, which is known as the All-American pastime, do I get to call you racist? Hmm? One of the big things that he pointed out was that anime is drawn with Asian facial and body structure in mind, not Western. Well, if that's the case, why doesn't everyone in anime have almond-shaped eyes? Last time I checked, virtually every person in an anime that I see has eyes the size of basketballs unless they're being portrayed as the bad guy, and then maybe their eyes will be a little squinty. My final point on that, hell, last time I checked, Americans had been doing cartoons a long, long time before the first anime ever came out. And if you're using that comment for the basis of your argument, then how do you explain Afro Samurai? Don't worry, I'll wait. thought so. But in the end, all of this is pointless. In the end, someone's skin color, size, weight, or even personal beliefs shouldn't matter, especially at a convention. I have been cosplaying for years, and I enjoy doing it, and going to conventions is one of the few times that I get to see some of my really, really close friends. Racism has no place in the cosplaying world. We all gather at these things for one reason and one reason only. Our love for a similar form of entertainment. And last time I checked on cases of one of my animes that I own, not anywhere does it see only for Asians or not for Westerners. That's really all I got to say on it. Leave the prejudice at home, man. But... Since I've been entirely serious this time around, I guess I'll try and spruce it up a little bit with mm, a tiny little punchline. 
Now, there are bad cosplayers out there. There, you it, you don't have to go far on the internet to find somebody that just absolutely looks ridiculous in one of these costumes. Just like this dude posted all over the website. Everywhere you go on that website, it is nothing but pictures of over and underweight, mostly white females dressed up as Asian characters from animes. Now, yeah, there are bad-looking cosplays out there, but not everyone's immune to it. And especially not just us. Because last time I checked, Captain America didn't look like this. Now, that was a little mean of me, I know. But nevertheless, it does prove my point that bad cosplays aren't bound by a single race. Now, there were a good chunk of people that saw this going on and knew right away, yeah, this guy's a troll. Um, and for the most part, yeah, they're right. So, I mean, him being a troll, I guess he did succeed in what he was trying to do, which is piss off a ton of people. Except one. Me. Me, I find trolls to be very, very, very amusing. The fact that it seems their only mission in life is to just see how badly they can annoy and piss off people. Well, if this guy was trying to troll me, I hate to say it, dude, you failed miserably. And I'm going to keep cosplaying, and I'm pretty sure all my friends and family will continue to cosplay as well. And the only thing I can really say to you is if... Me being the round-eyed western devil that I am, you don't like it that I dress up? Stop me if you can. Have a good night, everybody.